Shabbat Shalom. In Vayera, there are two different ways to look at Avraham. One is as someone who is the embodiment of Hachnasat Orchim, welcoming strangers. He welcomes in these three men he doesn't even know. And he runs, it keeps saying he runs to get them the milk and the meat. We won't talk about the kosher implications there. But uh, he, uh, he runs to get his wife, Sarah, to get them food so that they will be ready. And in honor of his running, according to the sources, three days after circumcision at the age of 99, he is told he will be blessed with a son. And we know that Abraham argues with God down to Sodom and Amorah to 10 good men, which they could not find in order to save the city. So there's a side of Abraham that is caring about other people. But Abraham is an overabundance of chesed, loving kindness, without givura, without wise boundaries. He never reflected on how his wife Sarah might feel about being put upon to prepare all this food so quickly. At the end of the parsha, he never reflects on how his son Isaac might feel at being brought up to Mount Moriah to be sacrificed. And he gives him a cryptic answer, which Isaac, according to the sources, sees right through. So his zeal to take care of these three men, to take care of the people of Sodom and Amorah, and to take care of fulfilling God's command to sacrifice his son, overshadows the boundaries of watching out for his wife. We also have the second incident of his wife needing to pretend to be his sister in this week's parasha and lie. And it also overshadows him watching out for what is good for his son. We know that having unadulterated love and blind faith is very dangerous and that it needs to be balanced out. It is best examined by Hillel's maxim, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? And of course, if I'm only for myself, what am I? But we need that balance between loving kindness that Abraham embodies and having boundaries, saying no from time to time, thinking about how others might be feeling other than the one you are trying to please at that particular moment. Shabbat Shalom.